Hello there. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to generate t-shirts using Midjourney AI. First of all, head over to your direct messages or a channel with the bot itself. After that, you're going to type slash imagine and then paste in the prompt that you want to use to generate your t-shirts. For this, I'm going to be using a prompt that I used earlier to test it out. Your prompt should look something like this. First of all, would be the topic or the thing that you want to generate onto the t-shirt. Make sure you add the type of detail or the colors you want to include into the video and the color of the background. Keep in mind, the dash dash no t-shirt part is very important as it prevents the AI from generating a t-shirt instead of your design. And for all the t-shirt designing, we're going to be using Midjourney version 4 as that is an artistic version of the AI and it's going to be best to generate your t-shirts using this. For the prompt, we can either just keep it the same as the skull or we can change the topic to something else. But since we're keeping it the same, just hit generate and wait for it to create your images. After you generate your first generations, you can either keep these or change up the prompt right now. But if you like any of these and you want to use any of these as your design, you can just hit the upscale button. Or if you want more generations that look like a specific version, you can make more variations of it. For example, this third image over here, I'm just going to create four more versions just like this one. After it's done generating your images and you have your final generation that you want to use, you can remove the background of it by downloading the image onto your computer. And after that, heading over to a website called Photoroom. Just go into your web browser and search up Photoroom. After that, click the first link and just hit the free tools option. In the pop-up, hit the remove background tool and paste or drop your image over here. Just select the images that you want to use. And it will give you a version of the image with a transparent background. You can download this by hitting the download button or you want to further edit the image, you can hit the edit in photo room option. If you're done with this and you want to go ahead and create new images, you could hit the clear option and it will lead you to the area where you can insert another photo. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.